So how to pick a brushless outrunner motor for your airplane. We have all different sizes here. I figured we would go through all the sizes. I'll tell you what each one of these particular motors flies and we'll weigh a few of them. We'll measure a few and I'll show you how I go about picking a motor for one of my projects. You get an ARF airplane almost ready to fly which is a really fun portion of the hobby. You get to, you get to build your own plane without having to do all the physical building of the wood and gluing a lot of it and covering it. You know, you get to do the, you get to do the assembly process of it. So you get to pick your electronics and, and you get to do quite a bit of work, which is a lot of fun. Great winter, uh, projects, you know, for, for those of us that, uh, have seasons and, when it's uh, 20 degrees outside, you don't want to go fly. So, let's go over all these real quick. And then I'll show you a few other tips to help you get on your way to picking your motor. That is tiny. That was big. So this is E-Flight BL50. You would find this motor in the Carbon Z Cub. Possibly the Carbon Z T28. I don't know that for sure, but I could uh, imagine so. They call it the BL50. It's 525 kV. We'll measure it and weigh it. And by going through a few of these motors, that will give you an idea on what size motor you're looking for for your plane. Like if you're building, let's say you got an ARF that has a 40 inch wingspan. In the manual, it says the flying weight is like three or four pounds. Then you're not going to want to look for a motor that comes in a plane that is like seven or eight pounds. So now we're kind of getting an idea on what goes in what to help you pick your choice. And then I'll show you some good, some good charts and stuff to go by. So we'll go in millimeters here for, for just to be standard. So it's a 42 millimeters wide ish. And then we'll measure from not the bottom of the mount, but where the mount attaches. Right there, 54. So 42 by 54. Oh, why does that sound familiar? You know, numbers like that. Because the motors are kind of identified in a couple ways. Here is a 4250, and it's measured by 42 wide by 50. So that's how you get your motor size 4250. Some manufacturers measure by the inside, which I'll show you that too in a second. So let's see how much this guy weighs. Next up on the chopping block is an E-Flight brushless outrunner motor with EFLM 5065D. This is the motor that came out of a Draco. I don't know if the measurements are 50, 65 or not. Let's, uh, let's see. So we got 50 wide. And I'm already not seeing 65. So let's set this guy at 65. It's almost 65 if you go that way, but that's counting the shaft in the center. So I don't know how their measurements came up right there, but it's a 400 kV. This definitely came out of a Draco. A Draco is a heavy plane. I've never, I don't have one. I've never seen one in person, but people say they're, you know, like eight pounds. That's a pretty big motor right there. And that guy weighs 317 grams. 317. And this next one is a Leopard Hobby. This is one I bought on eBay. I was going to put in my, uh, my SIG Edstra, but I think I've changed my mind. So this is a 50, 55. 370 kV. Let's see if their measurements are what the uh, what the advertisement is. So we got roughly 50 wide. So these these have all been 50 size motors. So think about that when you hear 50 size. So now we know what kind of class we're in. And then 55. I'm not seeing the 55 either. But there's there's 55 on my mic, and it's not. Uh, not doing it. It's definitely 
a 50 size motor, Leopard Hobby. Supposed to be some good quality things here. And this guy weighs 308. So we just looked at uh, 50, 50 size motors, and we know about the size of the airplane that they're intended for because of the hobby we're in. And maybe you have a Carbon Z Cub, or you have a Draco, or maybe you have something you're going to put this guy on. You know, this guy is pretty close to the same size as the Draco one. You know, the, just the motor is different, but the insides are probably really, really close. You know, instead of being fatter, the application needed a longer one. But those are all 50 size. Here we have a FMS Predator, which is 4258 with a 550 kV. This motor goes in their 1400 millimeter uh, pits and their 2000 millimeter uh, beaver. 4258 with 550 kV. So let's check out some measurements here and see if they coincide with what's what's listed. Now let's reset that guy. About 44. About 58. Nope, so what's on the label is not uh, not true on what is written out. But this is definitely like a 40 size motor because it is forty four millimeters wide. So we're gonna call this 40 size motor that is intended for the FMS beaver or the big heavy pits, and it weighs. A 267. So here we have a Hobby Star, and they have it called a 3520 with 720 kV. But we know this is a 40 size motor. It's 42 wide, and then the height. is roughly 47. Well, this is where some manufacturers label their motors a little different. Here's the box that this guy came in. And this is a 4250 motor, but they call it a 3520. So they're measuring the inside. They're measuring the inside and not the can size. So there's 35. This is not the exact same motor, but it is close. I think this one is a 700 kV. But they're measuring probably the width and the height instead of the can like some of the other brands we just looked at. So this motor, I put on a ARF uh, Tower Hobbies Edge 540, which in the uh, manual and the advertisement, it said you could use like a uh, .46 glow engine. So this kind of gives you an idea on what replaces that size engine. So also very similar size to my favorite E-Flight Extra 300. Let's see what it weighs. Two twenty-eight. Next is a Spectrum brand 4250. With an 800 kV, the E-Flight Extra 300 has a 4250 motor in it, so gives you an idea of the size right there. So let's measure uh, let's measure Spectrum's motor. Now we got the 42, and then let's see if we can find 50 on this guy. That's 44. I got about 47. So. I guess to get the 50, maybe you would have to measure all the way out to the end on it, all the way down there, 
not 50 on the meter. So there's roughly 50 on the gauge. Counting the back plate, you can get the 42, 50. Let's see how much this guy weighs. And I'll tell you what this motor is intended for besides the 300. This is not the motor that came in the 300, but same size can, 212. The manual that came with that Spectrum motor also shows a ton of info and it lists all the different size Spectrum motors and it gives you an idea what kind of plane it should go on, what your propeller choices are, if it's a sport aircraft or just a, uh, you know, just a, a slow flyer or 3D, you know, all different specs of information. You can find this stuff on on their websites you can also go to that hobby star they got a great website that shows all that kind of info also so here are the 42 size motors kind of give you an idea how much to weigh what planes they're intended for and so on and this is a can for the e-flight extra 300 my favorite plane 4250 10 kv roughly same size Pretty close to same size. So we've got the we got the 40 class motors right there. And here we have a E-Flight uh, 15 size motor. This motor you would find uh, like my latest uh, plane, the Ultimate or the Timber X or some of the... Uh, like 1.2 meter warbirds this is like the size motor that comes in them this is also a 15 size motor bl15 this is definitely one of the motors that came out of a uh, of a 1.2 meter type plane besides the bl15 there's no other sizes written on it so let's see what sizes we do get so we get around 35 on the can. And just roughly 47 if you're measuring the the whole every bit of the can we can see, you know, not counting the prop adapter. Like this guy we would measure right there. We're getting 42 on that by 35. But they call it a bl15 so the bl15 brushless 15 and they're saying this is equivalent to a 15 size glow engine so not a real big plane but like we were talking about the uh 1.2 meter warbirds uh my ultimate i think this motor actually came off of the night radiant kind of give you an idea Let's see what uh, what our brushless 15s weigh. 170 on that guy. It's got the prop adapter on it. This one has some screws in the bottom. 132. 170. What? 132. 170. Interesting. Interesting here. 32. This one definitely feels heavier. So this one's got, uh, I guess, some stronger stuff in it. More windings. Yeah. So this one on the left probably has more poles than this one. You can kind of see that the windings are. Uh... All right, doesn't help. Yeah, what we can see. Looks a little different. So there's our Power 15 size motors. Here is a Rimfire Point 10, a 10 size motor. So this is going to be a little bit smaller than the 15s we just looked at. This one has a big punch in a small in, in a small can. This is also a Power 10 motor right here or the size just below it a hair 
but these are both about equal and one is definitely smaller so those there's a whole lot more punch inside this guy you can feel it when you turn it and how strong the magnets are compared to this one so a power 10 measures that button that button about 35 wide by about 29. Let's see what this one weighs. 72. So now we can definitely see what the weight and the size and so on. Now this is a E-Flight or Hobby Zone brand motor. And it's also a, a power 10, or I think they call it a 380 size, which would be just a little bit lower. 110. Definitely weighs more than the other one. The size. 35-ish. About 32. Or if we go over here, it's about 42. So you can kind of see that the application you might need, you might need one a little bit longer versus a shorter. This motor in my hand here is actually out of a apprentice. I think the smaller apprentice, 1.2 meter, or the Hobby Zone uh, Sport Cup, I believe, the, the yellow and silver plane. I think that's what this one came out of. And we'll save the best for last. So here's a UMX uh, Timber motor now that thing's like 3400 kvs and it's so tiny so it's got 16 by 8 the model number on this guy is ef uh, eflum 6960 took a minute to get that guy to focus so that is out of a UMX Timber. So some size comparisons. The motor that came out of, I believe, the Hobby Zone uh, Sport Cub, the yellow and silver. And then here is the UMX, uh, UMX Timber. Not the Turbo Timber. I think just the Timber. Look how small that is. Well, I wish there was a video like this several years ago and that would have saved me from possibly getting some motors that didn't work for me so let's just give you an idea of the size and what they were intended for and maybe it will help you out so that you don't uh, do like i did and get something too small or too big and then you have to try to do it again so maybe that'll help lots of good websites to so check out the sizes and all the different specs on what this motor is intended for they all say propeller sizes and weight and then you can all also you know just like what we did you can look at the motor size for the planes that we all know either we fly them or we see them and you just just kind of has a better idea to get you close being close is better than being farther away so this motor is shot but that's the two pieces of it when you pull it apart this is another one that uh probably came out of the came out of the hobby zone sport cub you can see the wires are all burnt up right there and that is a case of putting the wrong motor on the wrong plane and uh, having a bad application of failure so hey anyways guys thank you so much like share subscribe is the best way to support me and at twenty thousand three jet giveaway happy flying guys adios